Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Factoria with yours truly in Zania. Today we are going to create some trains. Now we don't need them yet, but we're going to go ahead and put them in just for this uh, Let's Play purposes and for you to see how to do them and, and what you got to do with them and all this other good stuff. So basically we're going to run a train around here, across to here, down here. We might go into this copper, but probably not. In fact, what I might end up doing is coming down into here coming to here and showing you how to make a loop so that you can feed back and then let it come back on the same train back to here and then do another loop so that it can turn around and go back the same way. That's probably how we'll do it. Plus that'll save a lot of train track because train track's pretty expensive. It's multiple pieces of steel and blah 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 blah. So let's uh let's get on it. First thing you gotta do of course is you gotta make your both parts. You need the straight rail and the curved rail. You need cargo wagons, you need diesel locomotives, or at least one, unless you want to do multiple trains, which you can if you use the signals. And then you need a train stop. Now, this is just to get a basic train system running. You can get more in-depth, have multiple trains running on the same tracks, but then you need rail signals and stuff in order to let them know that, okay, there's a train already on that track, so stop here and wait till the train exits the track. Okay, the train's exited the track. Go ahead, you can get on to it. Blah, 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 blah. So... Let's do this. Now, what my purpose for this is, is to bring iron and copper to here once these areas run out, which I'm not even halfway through them. But uh, once they run out, um, then I want to bring in more copper and iron. So how am I going to do that? Well, this time we'll do that with a train. Um, I'm going to get fancy, kind of. I'm going to start my train right about here. Um, let's go with a curved first. And you just hit R to rotate them. That's about as close as I can get right there. Right about like that. So then we just get this going straight. And you hold right. Put the, ignore the arrows. The arrows are just there to let you know that it's solid, I guess. I, that's my assumption. And then you just come across. Get as far as you can. And I'm trying to feed in here. So that will work. That won't. So right there, I'm trying to get as much out of this straightaway as I can because you need a large straightaway because the locomotive has to stop on a straightaway. These little stops, you can only put them on straightaways, as you can see. You can't put it around the corner so that the locomotive turns around the corner but the, leaves your, uh, your um, cargo carts or whatnot. In fact, that's as far towards the corner as you can get. Right There's my first stop. So... You can right click on this and it says Danny Beetle. Now there's a way to change the name, but I can't remember how. Um, and then you hit that performs the change. Now I can't figure out how I'm trying to get it to and it's not, nothing I'm doing is, is messing with it. So there's a way to change the name, I suppose, but I don't know. I don't really care. Um, I would put this as main base if I can figure out how to uh, change names. So, now that we've got our straightaway done, we can go ahead and put our train down so that we can see about, and all you do is click on the train and then put it on the track. You hover it over the track and it'll automatically, like if you put it there, it'll automatically attach it. Um, you can manually attach trains also by getting into the train, backing the train up, and then hitting, I think it's G. Uh, but when you're laying them down, you can also connect them. And right now we've only got two, but I can see that I could put at least three more on there which is good. That's good. That'll give me at least five fully loaded trains um, set on there with this many slots full of ores. So that's going to be plenty. Um, what you then have to do is you then have to come into the train and if you go there it'll show you the locomotive. Then you want to put coal into it like so. You know I just put my coal in there and you got to check it every once in a while or what you can do is you can set up a feeder system. Uh, have some coal over here in crates and then have uh, arms whenever this train stops here. The arms will load it into the, to the train, I think. I'm not sure. We will try it before the end of this episode if we get time. Um, in fact, that's something I forgot to do, set my timer. So I'm going to set it for 25 minutes from now. We'll, we'll just say that I've been going five minutes, which I haven't, but, you know. All right, so you right-click on that, and it brings up all of this information. Well, the first one is Danny Beetle. If you hit plus, it'll add that stop to this trains. This is the train's actual schedule and this will be a listing of all of them. This is how long you want it to wait at this station. You can set it up as many as 40 seconds. 
Um, that doesn't seem to be very long, but I would like to set it for more than that. So, but that's apparently 41 seconds is as long as you can make it wait. Um, you could probably add Danny Beetle again and add 41 seconds, and it might just sit there. I don't know. We'll find out. All right, there. Now we'll see. We're watching it, so about 80 seconds. If it starts to go in about 40 seconds, then we'll know that, no, you can't. And then all it'll do is it'll just run down to there. So let's go ahead and give it somewhere to go. You have to use these little ones for anything in between the corners, the initial corner, and the straightaway. So it automatically lines them up now, which is a good thing. So they're not so hard to do anymore. You just have to rotate them and get the initial this is what I want to do out of it type thing. And then you can take one of these and get it angled at the right way, which is there. Because I'm wanting to go to the left. And then you fill in the gap with one of them guys. And there you go. You got a train. And it, when it's finished, which is uh, any time now, I'm just looking. Should have been 40 seconds, so it might be just sitting there. That might be how you do multiple length delay, because if you've got all of these cars full, even with fast loaders and unloaders, you're going to need time. I don't know how fast they'll load and unload, because I've never played with trains other than right now, but we will soon find out, that's for sure. So let's see. I'm coming down to here. I need to go straight across and then come down. So, And I'm not trying to get it fancy. I'm just going to go straight across. And then I'll probably curve up and around here. Whoops. And you can pick it up just like normal stuff. If you mess it up like I'm doing. And then I'll curve it back some more. Like so. And then we'll go straight through again. If I've got enough train. And that'll be where it'll stop. Right there. So once it gets here, what I'll do is I'll put a train stop here. And I'll put it right there for now because that'll be the length of the car. And then one, two, three, probably all five of them will fit there. And then it'll stop there. And then what we'll do is we will get a little bit fancy. Come down some like so. And then we'll turn it like so. And then we'll cut across like so. And then if I zoom out, we can see we got us a bunch of trees there, but we can handle that later when we get our, uh, okay. And you gotta use a couple of these on the middle parts also, whenever you turn it around more. And if I'm not mistaken, that'll work. I don't know. Maybe they fixed it. We can try that and see if they've made it since the last time I read anything about it. You didn't used to be able to put two of these together. Yeah, you still can't. As you can see, there's a gap. So, yeah, you do have to put one of these in the middle, like so. And then you can come straight off and down like so. And what we'll do is we will turn in. We'll cut down some trees. Just enough to get our tracks through. Because we're going to come down and around in front of it here. Actually, we probably should have come over a little bit further. But we can do all that here in a second. That way we can set up all of our stuff here in the dirt instead of having to set it all up in the uh, having to set it all up in the uh, in the iron. So what we'll do is we'll come off like this. And then do a corner like so. And then we will come down. And notice I'm coming down past it. I know that I'm coming down past it because I want my, my 
engine stop down here with all of my other parts back there. And that might not even be much enough of a straightaway, but we'll see. If not, we'll extend this down more. So now the important one is the corner, the curve rather, whatever, loop-de loop back thingy or whatever you want to call it. And this goes like so. Whoops. As you can see, you can tie these in. Like so. There we go. Notice how it makes that. And now this I have never done. I've only seen it done, so we're going to play with it until we get it where, we, where it's supposed to be. And I don't know where it's supposed to be, so we're going to find out. We'll do it like so. And then it'll be like, like so with one of these. And you just got to kind of piece it together as best you can. Alright, see how that's not going to fit? So we'll make it fit. You can't do that, can you? No, I didn't think you could. That's alright. It means we need to go wider. Just a little bit wider. So we'll play with it until we get it. And then we'll go like so, 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 like so maybe. Oh, we got to pick up that tree. Like so. Boy, it looks rough and twisty. <laughs> we'll see if it works, though. Like so, like so, like so, like so, like so, like so, then like, so however many, we might have to come in higher. I'm not sure, that right there might do it. which is fine. But like I said, you just play with it and you'll uh, you'll get it where you want it. And that's going to work right there. And there we go. So, we can test it and make sure that it's going to run by uh-oh. There's something red up here. Hopefully it's not a bad guy. Oh, okay, no, that's my uh, my stop. <laughs> I thought maybe the bad guys finally were coming because we haven't seen any yet. We're about, I don't know, even with my adjusting and, and tankering and playing with stuff afterwards, I'm like seven hours play time on this, and I still haven't seen a bad guy, so I don't quite know what's going on here. But uh, let's enter this bad boy. All right, and then we need to go stop the train. You can manually drive it by pressing up which is what I'm going to do. And we'll see which one this one is. Which one is this? Venzana. So we'll go to this one. We'll, we'll remove that one. Remove this station. Then we'll put Vanzana. So we got Danny Beetle, Vanzon. And I'm driving the train. Choo-choo! Whoa! Well, we can go all the way through it. don't matter. And yeah, our little loop-de-loop -loop there is going to work. So what is this one? I'm going to assume back up some. You can hold uh, D or S. W drives forwards and S drives backwards. All right, which one are you? 
This is Daniel Harmsworth. So then we'll add Daniel Harmsworth. Whoops. Let's remove that one and let's go down here. There we go. Danny Beetle, Van, Van Zan, and Daniel Harmsworth. And then it should ought to go no path. Why am I getting no path? All right, let's find out. We'll drive back. Probably because i got to put one of them loop-de-loops so that it can go back. I don't know. We'll figure it out together because I've never had to. All right, you hit enter to get out of the train, and you also go up to the train and hit enter to get in. Um, actually, we need to back up some. Oops, S, not D. All right, and that'll be good enough. Make sure the train's at a stop before you get out, though, because I've been told that it'll hurt you, and there ain't no sense in dying. Um, let's go at an angle here, like so, because we can make our little turn. Whoops. Right here. Since we don't need it to go anywhere else, we'll just do it right here. Okay. Like so. Like so. Like so. Like so. So I guess it's got to go like that. Like that. Like that. Put one of them on there. Like that one of them on there like that then we'll put one of them on there yeah we'll make this one look kind of different that way they don't look exactly the same all right so let's figure out where we're gonna have to tie in at right there all right, and then we'll just run these guys straight down, and there we go. So now, let's see if we can get this thing to go. Oh, wait a second. we got to get it over here. Let's beat it so we can get in and take a ride with it. Whoa, slow down there, buddy. All right, there we go. Now we'll take a ride with it, and we'll bring its window up so that we can watch its window. So we got it staying for 40 seconds, which is way too long. We'll do it at about 13 seconds, 10 seconds, and for right now, 10 seconds. So we'll set them all to 10. All right, that ain't working. So we got to move that one over here. That's fine. That's how you figure it out. Then it's going to go where? I'm assuming that it depends on which side of the track it's on. All right, why didn't you stop? Oh, it's going back to the other place now. And there we go for the iron. And I'll be able to get three cars on there, <clears throat> which is good. That's good. That'll be three straightaway cars to load. That's probably all I'll do is three cars. All right, now it needs to go to Danny Beetle. So it'll probably go all the way around, do the other loop, and then come back. That's what I'm hoping. If it does that, then all I need to change is this one. And I don't know how to change them, what, what to change, but we'll play with it and figure it out. All right, so we, now we can stop the train. Let's get out. So we got Dan, Danny Beetle, Van Zan which is over here, which is probably fitting to get taken out whenever I pick it up, but we'll put whatever it names it back in. And that's what I did. See how it's on the left side of the track? That's where I screwed up. 
So let's put it right there on that side of the track. And what name is it? This is Simo Neistin. Yeah, that Simo whatever needs to be in the middle. And then I bet it stops there. And I think the other one was on the left side of the track too. So now we'll go and we'll go drive and we'll see. But I think it, depending upon what side of the track, determines which way the train stops, I think, on the right side with the with the stop thingy on the right side. So let's go in here, and we need this one added here. There we go, Danny Beetle, Simo, and then Daniel. All right, so let's run the train. And this will all work. Now we need to set the Simo down to 10, which like that. We can move this out of the way. There we go. Now, if it stops over here at SEMO, we're perfect. It's exactly, and it doesn't look like it's speeding up. Look like it's slowing down. Outstanding. So, yeah, if you put the uh, the train stop on the right side of the train, where the train will be coming in, that's where it'll work. And what that benefits is that if I wanted to come up this way, and I also wanted to stop here, facing this direction, I could do that also. I could put another stop there. So, say the first time through, it doesn't fill up enough. And like this one, say them three don't get filled up enough I, if, if I can't add more stops. Then what I could do is I could put another stop here, and then on the way back through, it would stop again. You could set it to stop again, and then it could load some more. Okay, so now the big test, the big ticker. If we go all the way around and then stop at the first stop, it's perfect. It's exactly what we wanted. Now, there we go. So, all right. So, we can stop this train because there ain't no sense. Let's back it up some. Because there ain't no sense in running it without a purpose. There's no stuff over there. But uh, what you would do is you could do one of two things. You could set up a bunch of mining drills. And then you'd have them mining drills. Uh, uh, I like to say uh because uh makes you sound real intelligent. But you could set up mining drills and then use belts. Like right here, you would have smart inserters uh, taking the stuff off of the train and putting it onto the belts. And then the belts could then run over and around and whatnot and tie into your main delivery line, supplying that ore into here. So basically what I would do is I would have them take it off this side. And then come down and around, and I'd run it under the tracks with the underground belts, and then come up into tied into the main line. And then I just have smart inserters, set, or just inserters, really, or whichever. I don't know which which you have to use here. We can set it all up though. Um, actually, we only got about five minutes, so we probably can't. But what we can do is test it by going like so, making a couple cheap crates, and then we can make two smart inserters. I think you have to use smart inserters, but I'm not sure. Um, we will try it with regular inserters also. So what we'll do is there's where the inserter will go, and this is where that'll go. And we'll set up two crate or two chests right there. And then we'll put a regular inserter to like that. And then we'll set up a smart. Where'd the smart ones go? There they go. Smart inserter like that. Because the smart inserters you can click on and tell it what you want to transfer. Like I want you to transfer copper. And then these guys you can't. These guys you can't tell. But what we need now is some copper. So let's go get some copper. There's a ton of it over here that's back up. But I should have some in some chests around here. You know, some there we go. All right. And what we're going to also need is a little bit of power. Fortunately, I got a whole bunch of it, so we'll bring it all over here like so. There we go. So now what we'll do is we'll put some power in there. We'll put some co I mean some copper in there and some copper in there. And as you can see, it moves it pretty decent, but not extremely fast. I mean, if it's if you've been mining and it comes back, you figure 30, 40 seconds before it gets back over there, plus 30 seconds or so at the unload. So about a, about a minute of unloading, total unloading, and then 30 seconds. So it's gotten about 30 seconds at each stop to load. So you're took, looking at about two minutes or so time. Um, a couple should be enough. Now, if you click on that, you can see the cargo wagon's got some. So what you could also do is then you could have a chest, which we'll put it right there. 
and then you could have another one set to unload. And as you can see, what it's doing is it's unloading the truck, the train, and putting it in there. Now we can go like this, and we can go start the train. It'll go and stop. And here, let me set this up a little better. So here we go. Let's set this up a little better. So what we'll do is we'll pick these guys up. We'll pick up all that. We'll take all this. We'll take all that. And I'm going to drive the train because it's just faster. All right. Now we're going to get out. We're going to come around here. We're going to set us up a, a couple of these crates. And then we're going to use a couple of these really fast inserters. Now, I don't have any power over here. And I didn't even think about that. But, I, you know, it's real easy. You get these really long ones, which I have, I think. But I don't think I've made. Yeah. So I'm going to make a couple of them. We'll make three of them. These are outstanding. Watch. You only got the short, when you hook these big ones up, you got the short distance to the small one because the small one can only reach so far. But between these, look how much longer they are. See how much longer you can stretch them? I mean, you can take a few of these, just a couple. Like so. And let's make another one or two. And then we can stretch this one all the way over to here for right now just for you know to show this off and then we'll get another and we'll put it like so so that everything's working and what we'll do is we will then tell the train to go and what we'll do here is we'll put in a couple of these and a couple of these stacking it up we got two of them loading and unloading and when this train comes by, I'm just looking to see if it will uh, not. See, that train's going way too fast. <laughs> but we're going to watch it. It's going to come around. It's going to stop there. Don't be on the track when the train's going either because it will kill you. <laughs> it will run you over. Smush you like a bug, son. <laughs> All right, let's get in. We'll ride with it. So now this is how the process would really be working. You'd be coming over here. Your mining drills would be sending it up to this guy. These guys would then start loading. Now, we're only going to get 10 seconds of loading. But you would set this up to about 30 or 40 seconds. You'd have like three or four of these guys to unload, to load each each cart. You, so you'd have like, I think you can have up to five on each cart. That's what it looks like. There'd be enough room. Then you'd come down here and you'd have five to another cart. Uh, loading iron, or maybe if you've got four trains, four carts, you'd set have five of them loading two. Um, like here, I'd have to use the front two, because the back, I could use the front three for iron, but anyhow, so then it comes back, keeps right on and going, and it gets back to your place after it does its little turnaround. It stops. And then you'd have a whole row of these guys all the way the length of your train unloading it all into this. Now, right now, I'm throwing it on this, but I could very easily just have a belt line running right beside that, that inserter, and it would be dumping them off into that inserter. Now, there should still be half of that there, 22. And that's how trains work, folks. They're pretty neat. They're fun. They're pretty cool because you can get in them and drive them. You can go into them and you can stop the train if you want to and then just take off yourself. You do at these stops need to make sure that you put some laser turret defenses because when the train stops, biters will come up and they will attack the train. Um, they don't have a tendency to attack your rails so much anymore, uh, but they, they will attack your train. So wherever your train stops, they have a tendency they don't want to beat on it. So be careful. And that's the end of this episode. So if you enjoyed learning about trains with Owen Zania, you know, please like, comment, subscribe. Look at that thing go. Look at it go. Where are you trying to take my, uh, what you trying to take my, uh, coal for, Stinky? But that there proves to me that you can set a couple up up here and have them throwing in coal into your train so that your train always stays running, always good to go, never need for anything. In fact, what I would do is I would probably set up another little stop back here. Take this and kind of come across with it. 
and then make my circle because I've got that. Uh, let's get out and go look. Oh, and you can pick these up right now, by the way. You can just left click on them, pick them up, just like normal. But I've got all this coal here, and these where I had all this coal run before, um, right here. So I could throw a couple coal drills or even a splitter right there and run coal down and run it across. And then come down like so and then go across. That way there's coal laid out. And then I could load up my thing and then just put one more stop on there. And then I could bring this down and come around. And instead of curving up there, I could take this and come up this way and then curve it back, which is probably what I'll do. Curve it back and then tie it into this track somewhere. Tie it in. Um, just like I did here, because you can pretty much tie it in anywhere. And, uh, yeah, like I say, that's trains. So if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe, and you guys have a great day. Great day.